it feels like it's coming. But I can't. To the end. To the end of something, right? I've been saying this, like, uh, it feels like the world is, I don't know, it feels like at any moment, just, they, you know, like, with, you know, with the whole thing going on, they say there's oh. a new variation everywhere, the South African variation, the English variation, the Brazilian variation. Do you think we're just going to live now in a state of, for like, in the oh. world, like, where just things are just, like, tense, like, we're, like, this, like, a thing always just among us, just fucking with us? I mean, I feel like there's always been <laughs> something fucking with us, but now it's now it's in the U.S. Because remember, like before, we had things that going on in Africa, things going on in China, things going on in in Europe, but it, it never hit home. I mean, as far as us in the U.S. for you, I don't know about you in Spain, um, but now that it's actually here and it's and it's among us, I mean, it's starting to get tense, you know. Um, well, Kiko, we were talking about it last there's, week. There's, mm -hmm. oh, there's mind, a sorry. new. Uh, oh, sorry, there's another. There's another flu, showing up in pigs again in China. Um, and Damn. then the, obviously the, the African variations, uh, mut the mutations. I, I mean, <laughs> this is a kind of like where we go into virology, about the the study of viruses, and the more you allow a virus to procreate the more you allow it to, to mutate. That, that was the issue with mm, closing down early. If you're able to close down early and, and contain it, good for you. It doesn't, it doesn't do that much. But if you allow it to spread it and allow it to propagate from person to person, because every time that it, you know, okay, so a virus get, hijacks a cell, then it, it reproduces, it creates copies of itself. But each copy is different, but, but similar. You know, like, like when you have offspring, you know, you every offspring is not going to be the same as as the previous one every every child is not going to be the same they have wouldn't you also say variations. that as, as humans and masses we also get better at, at attacking back and that the virus could lose strength along the way um <sighs> interesting if the only the only way for it to lose strength along the way is if the people that it's infecting are dying before that person can affect somebody else. Because the whole thing is that the virus in its, in its nature is to spread. So it spreads throughout the body, then, it's, then it jumps from host to host, then, then, it, go, then it, goes, it spreads in that body, and then host to host like that, so on and so forth. Yeah, but what about and, like, okay, but, it gets to a body and that body handles it a bit better and almost kills it. And then the virus jumps to someone else, but weaker. And each time mm -hmm. it's just less harmful, because like I don't know, I could. I, but I, I guess like that, you could, but like mm -hmm. it would have to it would have to jump from from strong body to strong body because if it strong, jumps from strong body to weak body, the weak body gets taken over. And then yeah, it, but it, if it, it jumps from a strength. strong body that almost fucked it up, right? Like almost fucked up the mm -hmm. virus up, then the virus goes to the weak body, and the weak person survives because the virus is a bit weaker than it would have been otherwise. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying when it replicates, it, it replicates weaker? Wouldn't it just go back to the original strength that it was? When it's replicating, it's a whole nother... No, because there's also the viral count, right? Like the viral load. Uh-huh. Like the virus jerks off and then it shoots a load. The viral load, depending <laughs> on how big it is, and like if somebody just like kind of like sprinkles in your face, but then you get a little viral load. That's how much spits you're getting on your face because you went into a, like a really uh, crazy no, night. No, like spit, spits in your mouth or some shit. Yeah. Yeah, like if somebody spits on your mouth because you went to a like a alternative, cl you know, cl club where they where they do mescaline and and face spitting, then you uh -huh. got a big viral load from that fucking right. You know, girl. So then you might have <laughs> a bigger like you know damage chance. Yeah. Uh huh. But there's gonna be more little virus cells fucking with you rather than if you just have a little you know somebody just pass by and sprinkle a little bit right i mean this is coming from then, somebody that has no person, idea of what the fuck you know, like. and then that that and then that person that gets it uh in their body creates the variation and then spreads it to somebody else because the variation comes from the from the reproduction okay so you're saying when your reproduction becomes stronger i say it could be weaker we're no, both wrong. not 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 just stronger. different. Not, I didn't say just stronger. different. I said different. I said different. 
or the same. It could be the same. It could be different. Like there's small little genetic changes. Okay. That says a lot, John. <laughs> it's like it could be the same or it could be different. It could be weaker or it could be stronger. It you could be know. anything. It could be anything. Right. I mean, it could even it, like, it could even replicate, replicate a, a version of itself that just dies like on its own. Like it'll replicate a, a non-working cell and then it just self-destructs and then that's it. That happens too. Okay. But are you the virologist but it's from making... Jurassic Park? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the I'm the resident uh, science person science. in this room, I guess. <laughs> um, the resident virologist. On, a, on um, another topic, even though you know we're mm -hmm. we know that the science community we just jumping watches at this podcast uh, for like important information. Do you think things are gonna <laughs> be their, better their now? <laughs> you think things are gonna be better now in the U.S. that Trump is gone, Biden's back? Well, not back, but well, yeah, kind of back, right? He used to be there, and now he's right. He's a president. Um, do you think things are gonna be calmer at least because Trump is not in office and people are not freaking out, or do you think we're gonna have now the other side? Like, you know, like what? what do, you th do you think things are gonna be better now or worse? I think in the immediate future, like relative like three months first three months we we're gonna see it improve in the sense that we're, people are gonna start getting more money from the economic stimulus um people are gonna uh be less conflictive um because of the um the fact that um <laughs> trump isn't tweeting anymore <laughs> and um the the issue is that we still don't have jobs and the the virus is still out there. Um, I feel like if the country were to close down, that would be detrimental. the The country enforcing a federal mask mandate, I think, helps to a certain extent. Um, but the only way that it really, I guess, either we go we go all in and just let everybody get exposed or. Or we try to st stay home, I guess, but it's not. That's not. That's not gonna work. So you think like it's just it, getting to the point? I think it's already past. It's already past the point where staying home is gonna do anything. Because like, yeah, what you're saying, even though it's sad and not optimistic, mm -hmm. it seems like even with the restrictions, it's just non-stoppable. Mm -hmm. so, so did it ever have a chance I, of doing anything if it wasn't like contained? From jump, I think you. I think there is a a purpose of, of like locking people down strictly. If you're gonna put measures in place, once you know who's infected and who's not, the thing is. Right. The thing is, I believe that even though I wanna like blame governments, you know, for their inefficiencies, and there's some of that as well. It's like try to think the amount of capital human capital monetary capital and just mental you know capital to figure out a plan on how to like use the information like you, you lock down a country for 15 days and you, and and you're able to know who has it or not doesn't have it in theory right because of the symptoms and then the people uh -huh. that do have it you track them and who they were before so that you can test those people and you track everybody's movement so that you like imagine the amount of of work that that takes of of of, of man work of, of money of so that's what you should do if you lock everybody down because that's the action that's gonna allow you to but then nothing is done it's just like we lock it down and then we open up again and then when they go up again we lock it down and it's just like to me it's just like putting what's the what's the phrase in english like you just like putting your finger to block the sun or you know, like the dam is breaking mm -hmm. and you're just putting little patches on the holes, but every, eventually, like, so... It's still going to break. Yeah, like, I mean, I don't know how hard this thing is to figure out, but I just, I would think that in a year, governments would have figured out a way to live with this in a more harmonious harmonious way where, like, the economy could continue. <laughs> Especially in Europe, it's really fucked. If you think the U.S. is fucked with Florida being very conservative and you know, fucking fuck the virus type shit. Here in Spain, man, like, things are just this being destroyed. Like, businesses, like, 
I'm scared. Like I'm, I'm literally scared. Like I don't know what's gonna happen regarding jobs and shit. What? When you're saying, when you're saying being destroyed, you mean like being shut down? Well, yeah, like they're, they're, they're just going they're back to, because they cannot open. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I, don't, I guess I'm worried about it. I'm scared of the virus, but I'm also scared of what could happen if we just lock everything forever and we don't allow people to work. Yeah. Lo locking down, I think, is no longer useful. It would have been useful in the beginning when it first started. And in order for that to work, everybody has to be on the same page. Like when I say everybody, I mean like the whole, like every country would have to have locked down for the same 15 to 30 days. And I think that would have been more cost efficient to lock down 30 days, the entire <laughs> world and track whoever's getting like whoever's fucked up and whatever, then to like, Somebody locks down, but then everybody else is still open. And then that person locks down, and then they're okay. So like whoever has it is migrating from place to place because their area is locked down. He's gone. They're like, dimension. fuck it, this place locked down. <laughs> let me go somewhere else. <laughs> you said He's too much. Like this place ahead. locked down. All right, let me go somewhere else. That <laughs> far not. ahead in time. Just, <laughs> he, he, he fast forwarded a couple of years. He moves too fast for us. And, <laughs> and I. <laughs> but no, we're we're like this is this is uh, coronavirus is the new flu, bro. This, uh, we're living with this. Like, this is going to be with us for the rest of our okay, life. Okay, we've heard of people that are dying of this, that have died, and people that you would say maybe, damn, they're, they're not that old or, you know. But then you <laughs> hear, like, for example, in Spain, there's been 55,000 deaths since this whole thing started because of that. But then you mm -hmm. start looking at cancers, uh, deaths per cancer, deaths per, like, heart disease, and it's like, they're mm -hmm. huge numbers too. It's like, it just puts me in a weird situation where some of the information makes me be alarmed. Like this is mm -hmm. a fucking death wish. And then on the other side, I'm like, this is like falling statistically along with other diseases. So it's like, you know, the, the issue with, with comparing it to other diseases is that you, cancer isn't transmissible H high blood pressure isn't tra transmissible it's even correctable uh diabetes isn't transmissible well, cancer isn't it's correctable he's gone Ca well need, need none of those he's are, going i mean you, you, i mean <laughs> to the next <laughs> <So wrong. laughs> the ne Whoa. i mean like it, it yeah but cancer uh, <laughs> cancer isn't uh, like isn't, you, you cannot i mean i guess everybody says if you're healthy and shit cancer is less you know common but uh -huh. but yeah you could say high blood pressure yeah like if i didn't eat so many pizza pies i could help that but cancer is just luck oh, oh you're saying cancer cancer is incorrectable yeah no cancer is not correct or sometimes. or preventable oh right or preventable. Like it's just luck the luck of the draw <laughs> right so then why right. should why aren't we like alarming about it and fucking getting that the fix of that shit right away if so many people are dying of it like why aren't we because of <clears throat> because of how because of how random because of how random it becomes like how how random yeah, but is then, it but that we, some people get it some still, people don't we, we should be even more alarmed like should we need... focus more on a treatment mm -hmm. than a vaccine because once we already have a treatment in place like we do if you get diagnosed with cancer and high exactly. blood pressure uh, that's what that's what like, i'm talking about like why don't we have something in place that can ease the situation until we fucking find an answer to it because dude we cannot close another year so so then rather than Rather than uh, get a vaccine to kill the coronavirus, you're saying to have a vaccine to mitigate well, to the, them, to the symptoms a, of the coronavirus? A treatment plan. Like a the treatment plan so that you don't die. A treatment plan. All right. All right. So you, got, you have it, but you don't die. Yeah, you, you'll go through it, but at least we now know that the combination of these drugs are going to save your life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, like I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I hope I'm using that correctly. At the fact that they don't have... Nah that treatment like like i'm not saying kill it off the face of the earth but why haven't you figured out how to fucking make this better like like to to, to draw like to make the difference between somebody that would have died otherwise or maybe do yeah like like oh. have it for cheap because uh -huh. the whole thing with trump right is that he got it and then in two days he was good because he has the money to be flown out to the best hospital for the best treatment plan or whatever the hell so that means that it is it, does it is exist. possible it's just getting it or do you think he just got lucky well I don't know. 
Good evening. Evening. I mean, both. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I mean, we have to like that would have to be like you know like we have to research what what is it that the coronavirus does from the onset to the end like from beginning to end what is it doing to the person? If Elon Musk, and how if Elon Musk is sending Ferraris to Mars, we should fucking have something that helps this shit not kill the person that gets it, at least most of them. And I don't know if see, but the, the people. I don't know if the people are thinking that way, like you, like you are. What well, shouldn't they? What the fuck? Like, shouldn't that be the number one priority I, worldwide? I, like, like make this shit be tolerable to the point where we can at least have like economy work. Be- because they're not they're not thinking that way. They're not thinking long term. They're thinking short term. They they're thinking I don't want to die. They they're not thinking. Well, look, if this is permanent, this is continuous. If this is gonna be con- constantly like we're already at four hundred thousand deaths and. I don't know how many million people in the U.S. and four hundred thousand so deaths. We should have already thought yeah. at least going up. The other day, I heard like twenty-five to fifteen, twenty-five to thirty million people had it, and I was like, "That's ten percent uh-huh. of the country, almost." Mm-hmm. That's but twenty-five to thirty million had it in the U.S. Oh, or in the no, world. No, 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 in the U.S. But I don't know if if it's people that had it or currently have it. Um, mm-hmm. but uh, no, let's say it's, it's, it's the whole, like have had it at one point in time and are no longer a case, but that's still a lot. It, it, it does, it does make the, it population. does make the death rate look better. The fact that, but we're, we're still like, we still come into agreement. We still come into agreement that only 3% of the population is dying. Even with uh, however, uh, however fucked up it is. That a lot of people, you're saying a lot of people are dying. No, no, no. 3% of the population of people that get it. Would you consider that to be like low? I don't know what you base that off of. Oh, like how many people have No, no. Based that like in comparison how many- to... Like what is a oh, the percentage um, of a, a flu killing somebody or whatever? Like, like for example, yeah, lo- I don't know. I wouldn't know what flu. Lo- losing, look, lo- losing three fingers. What? What? Wait, no, sorry, no, three percent. No, losing a piece of your finger. Yeah, but three percent of the people that get it. That's not three percent of the population. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So let's so it's say like a very, it's, a, it's a very small percentage of the population, and a very. So mm-hmm. let's say. Your I'm saying in comparison to other ailments. Well, let's go with other illnesses. Like, is three percent a high number? Is like, is mm. it, is point five? Yeah, like for example, to give you an example, fear, uh, for like with um, there was Mars, the Mars disease, like that mm-hmm. happened in the Middle East. Um, I think it had like a twenty percent. Uh, about, about, uh, Mer- Mers, Mers, Mers. It had like a twenty percent death rate, maybe, and then mal- Ebola, uh, like malaria or too, Ebola right? had like a fifty percent death rate. But the thing is, apparently, them having a much higher death rate made it less transmissible, because you in the, and also the death was quick, like you wouldn't last two weeks with it. So it it almost right. yeah, it'd be like like a three days. Yeah, it almost helps the Rona that is not as deadly because then it allows itself to spread a lot more. So it, it's it's fucking the asymptomatic part of it is also a motherfucker. You go yeah. and walking around not knowing that you have it, passing it along to people. I mean, it's, it's a like motherfucker, a- but it also gives you hope that you could have it and not die. But it doesn't help you knowing if you have it and not spreading it, right? Yeah, because you could be going around just a little time bomb, just giving everyone, dabbing them up, giving them hugs, infecting the population. It's a hard one. So yeah, you think the focus should be on treatment rather than the vaccine? I think they're trying to nip it at the butt with the vaccine. I think you should keep working on the vaccine, but for now, let's get like a quick solution. That at least we can get somebody not to die. Hmm. But then that, that wouldn't be a solution to the vaccine. That would just be uh, mitigating treat, like mitigating symptoms like 
how when cancer patients are going through the chemo and stuff, they get uh, morphine so that they don't feel the pain. No, no. no so I'm talking about you're, ma- mitigating you're the actual to... disease. Like, let's say this shit fucks up your lungs. Well, we put that medication and treatment that makes it harder for it to penetrate your lungs. So you have a larger percentage of your body being able to withstand it. Not, not that it's going to not hurt your lungs, but you're still going to die of your lungs not functioning. I'm actually talking about treatment that would improve the way your body is defending against this motherfucker. Mm. I mean, if Trump fucking got some shit done, like, I'm pretty sure there's something out there that, you know, fucking inject bleach or some what? shit. <laughs> what, I, what I have understood is that it, um, based on how your immune system responds is, is how, it, how it reacts. So somebody with a strong immune system could actually be worse off than somebody with a weak immune system because it's based off of the reaction it's based off of the like what it does to react to the virus okay that's no no, it does make sense sense. but that is very like like it's the opposite of optimistic right like oh you have a strong immune system yeah like (laughs) then should i go to taco bell and have a <laughs> shitty immune system that won't react aggressively against and if, it. If they drop my burrito, do I, but, do I now eat it? But it's but it's a catch twenty two because now if your weak if your immune system is, is weak enough that the body take the the virus takes over, then you're still fucked. Okay, so what's the fucking answer? Like, do you just put six bullets on a revolver and call it quits? <laughs> No, you just you, put one, and you and, and you, you spin, spin it, it. <laughs> and you do that every day. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and after 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 two weeks, you put in another bullet and see how that goes. 